Hello everyone. So this is our second problem of the today's contest. And it's a tricky problem. It's a good problem. It's a medium problem and it's a medium problem means it is actually medium. We cannot make it too easy, but I will all I will tell you thing that you must have done in the contest. I'm pretty sure about you. At least 10% or 15% must have done this mistake. I also have done it. So do let me know in the comments if you that, did that mistake and you get a wrong answer and you came here. Why it's not working? Do let me know. Right. So it says that you have a given two integers w and m. It's a standard problem also. When you read the problem, you will get a just oh, I have solved this problem. Then you implement it and you got wrong. So yeah, stay tuned. So it says that, okay, it integer oh, array arrivals and arrivals of i is a type of item arriving on the day. Okay. So basically you are, what is happening is some item is arriving and they have some id let's say the two parcel number two parcel number three and let's say parcel number two again arrive it's a type actually it's not id exactly because id is unique but they can repeat right two can again come and four and again three comes so it's happening like that they're coming in a sequential order and you have a privilege that you can either accept that particular parcel or you can di discard that particular parcel fine then on each day, I consider the window of the days is nothing but a fancy thing they are doing. What they're doing is if the window is less than the window size. You can keep the whole window. Let's say window size is three. So you will keep the whole window, right? And then if you ha don't have the limited uh, space, right? But when you are here, let's say four, three, and you are currently at here. So you, the window size is this like this. Only three elements, the current element including the current element the window size should be w so that that's all they are trying to say they are trying to say that there should be at most m elements not more than m elements are allowed okay fine that's okay that's that seems something familiar i hope you are able to recall we'll also talk about the complete intuition and then what are you gonna do on keeping the day arrival would cause it to appear more than m times the arrival must be discarded yeah i already explained you you can discard it more also, but you obviously want to minimize the number of discarded that they any at the end they try to say. So they told, okay, you must discard it. But if you have more than M, let's say M is one, right? So you two, three, you can accept it. You three, you can accept it. Now you, you cannot accept it because the window size is three. Okay? In a particular window size, there cannot be more than M, M elements. So did you remind of this something of a problem that Okay, you have a k len sub array, k len sub array, and at most m elements, something similar at most m elements. This is a some something you should think of. Okay, sub array, k len, what should it strike? It the window, it is moving. What is it? Tell me nothing, right? It's sliding window. Okay. This is a sliding window. Okay. First thought you should come to your mind is that Mo many people must have thought about it. If not, also, no problem. I also explain you what is sliding window and all right. Okay. Sliding window came to your mind. What's next should come to your mind? Okay. I'm maintaining the frequency into, into a particular window and I'm moving the window. Fine. So for maintaining the frequency, what data structure that comes to your mind? Tell me. Is it vector or is what? Right. You can you have to remove the frequencies also. You have to add the frequencies as well. So it should be map data structure. Why? Because you have to remove the frequency from the window and you have to add the frequency of the incoming element. So it's a map data structure. That thing it should come to your mind. If not, try to think like this. That's what I am thinking. Why I choose the map data structure? Because you cannot choose set. Why? Because you cannot easily remove. There's no key value pair, right? You have to maintain a particular number and its frequency. So when you are, let's say, at this position and you want to what do you do in a sliding window you remove this element right how do you remove this element by removing its frequency right so that's how it works but this is slight twist here i will tell you what's a twist it's not exactly same thing that's why this problem is good okay it's four point but it's a good problem it's a good way problem again i say it's a slightly twisted standard dsa problem cool okay fine the two intuition we got it now what we do so again how we start a sliding window will maintain a map and let's say uh till the window size w or min of w and n right let's say the window is less than n is less than w so we just iterate on n and then we do the stuff but that's the implementation stuff we'll talk about the logic first 
I will run a loop till W. I generally divide that sliding window in two parts because it feels better me for better implementation. Okay, so till W I run and then I start a loop from W plus one to N. Okay, this is how I implement it. I feel it better. Okay, W. Then what you do? You keep adding the element a map of whatever incoming or arrival of I plus plus, right? This must have you you thought about that. Okay, incoming frequency got in, in, increased. Fine, no problem till here. Now what happens if MP of let's say if MP of arrival of I is greater than M. Now you also think about that. Would it be beneficial that you remove the previous element, discard element? You can discard the first one also, right? Because now you have choice. Either you discard the current element and you either you discard the previous element. But is it better to discard this one? Why? Think about that. You should think about these type of things because this will make you think better. Why? Because this will impact on further subarrays as well. The previous one won't affect much because they can affect because if they are still in the blue. But it's always better to remove the current element. Current element. If you if you have, to. if you don't have to, then so fine. Current element should be first priority of discard. Should be first priority of discard. This also you should think of discard. Fine, fine. This is also we got it. This is also we got it. Then, then what we have to do here? It's fine. Then we got ahead. If it's greater than M, definitely I have to remove this element. So I did the, I decrease the frequency. Every time I increase the frequency, I decrease the frequency because firstly I've increased that and then I decrease that. Means the frequency won't, won't change. Fine. It is M only basically. Okay. And what I do? I have to maintain a answer, right? I have to do answer plus plus. Why? Because I have discarded this. So I want to minimize this answer. But I have no choice left. Cool. I have traveled till the W window. Nice. Now I am W plus 1. I will start. Now how a sliding window works. You are at ith index. ith index starts from W plus 1. You add the element from W plus 1. Like It's like this, right? This will tell you. It's like this. You slide it. This, you slide this to this, add element this, and you remove this element. You remove this element. How do you do that? It's pretty simple. That's why you use a map data structure, right? Add this element and remove this element. So you know that this element, right? Red one. How do you know that? I minus W. MP of AR or arrival of I minus W, you will do the frequency minus minus and MP of arrival of I plus plus, right? Current element you added. And again, you will check the same condition. This condition. If it violates, remove the current element. Remove the current element. Element. Right. And then increase the answer again. Answer plus plus. What's the flaw? I hope you get till here. Okay, this is fine. And you just return the answer. This seems fine. And I think most of you have done this thing. So what is the problem? Why it will won't work? There's not much problem. Only a one, two line problem is there. See. I will tell you a hint also. Try to think from there. This is a problem. Why it is a problem? Can you think about that? The problem is you may have discarded this element. You may have discarded this element. And then you're again discard, you're again removing it, this element. Fine. So what's the problem? It's either not part of the window. No, you're not right here. Why? You are removing I minus W, but is it map contains sequentially? No, it does not do like that. It maintains the frequency, right? 
it may happen that two, two, three, two. I will explain you what what is what is going to happen. See, you are at this current window, right? And let's say you don't want this two. You want to remove this two, fine. You remove this two, and then you slide your window to further. You move this window, slide this window to further, or let me just take a better example. That will explain you the concept better. The main idea, the problem is, I told you this that you have already discarded. What here we are doing? It discarding the element, right? If this greater than m in the previous itself, because it is i, right? In the window we have started. Here we have started with the window, and we are increasing. And when we are uh, violating the property, we are discarding the element. We may have discarded, and we are again removing from the window. It's actually not removing from the previous window. It's actually removing from current window now current window it may it not always why may why let's say we already removed it and then it becomes frequency becomes zero and then the frequency becomes negative that also should not happen right because we already discarded it you are discarding what it's not all. It's already discarded, right? So this should also not happen. That's also fine. That won't affect our answer. But answer will be affected if it is non-zero. If it is non-zero, that is the problem. That you have a big window size. You have a big window size. You have big window size. You are including this element. You are excluding this element. Removing this element. But let's say you already discarded it. How you are removing it then? Right. Then what you are doing? Let's say this is, let's say 2. I will explain you what happens. This is 2. Okay. And this is, let's say 2 here. Now you will all, you get it. You will get it. This is a good example to explain. Let's say M is 1. Let's say window size is this, this only. Okay. And then what happens? You came here and then you see, oh, this is there. And you, let's say, you previously discarded it. from Because this is two consecutive are there, you discarded it already. Okay. Now to, you come to here. You come to here. Fine. There's only, uh, you already discarded it. And this is not the part of the window. Fine. So this is fine. You go to this. You saw, oh, I'm including this and I'm excluding this. But this is already being discarded. So what will happen this is already discarded instead of discarding this now it will discard this and this will see oh this will create the problem this should not be have been discarded right because this will be the part of window still that's the thing so be aware of this thing and i hope you understand this i explain this entire concept in detail and if any doubts do let me know in the comments i'll clear all of your doubts so let's jump off to the code First, also you can see the example quickly that W is 3. What are you going to do? 1 is fine. 2 is fine. Still less than 2. 3 is fine. No problem. Now, we came to 3. We remove this. Why? Because window is greater than 3. So, no problem. We don't have to discard anything until now. It's not discarding. It's just removing from the window. 3. Fine. Till 2 is there. It's no problem. 3 came. Now, we have discarded this. But now, let's see. There are 3 window size. and there are more than two elements. We have to remove this. You cannot include this. Now you go to four. And this is three. And the only one element you have to remove this three. So that's the particular answer. And let's jump off to the code first. So code is pretty simple. Not too much difficult. Ha! Huh. So the solution to that is that if you have discarded, you have to maintain extra vector. This, that you have discarded this element. Okay. Then what I maintain, the discard. See, you started with the map. You started with the discarded. It's not distant, it's discarded. Okay. You increase the frequency. Then you check. Is it violating? Oh, it is violating. You have to discard the current element. You have discarded the current element. You have decreased the frequency. You increase the answer. Fine. This is still our first W, right? I, I told you. I do this like this. And then I start moving from here. Now we started from here. Okay. It's zero base, one base, zero base indexing. That's why I started for W. Okay. So, okay. How it started? W less than n. You increase the you include the current element. Fine. 
you will remove the current element uh, you not current element the i minus w element right the out of window element only when the it was not previously discarded this is a very important condition i made a wrong answer so you have to include this and then only you can remove it and then if still this i increasing violates the condition you have to remove this element as well so you remove this element and then you may mark again this this is i have discarded and then you just put so i hope you understood the solution the video went long but i explained my whole thought process what mistakes you can make and if you like the solution please hit the subscribe button and like the video i'm coming with very awesome content for you guys and stay tuned for the further updates also i've started an oa series the link is in the description that you prepare for internships and placements right cool then see you for the next question